how Jeff Bezos accumulated a majority of his wealth over his lifetime. Before we start, I'd like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Business Zone. Jeff Bezos is now the richest person on earth, with his personal fortune exceeding the wealth amassed by legendary investor Warren Buffett and Microsoft Corporation co-founder Bill Gates. Bezos made the top spot of Forbes Magazine 2020's 400 Richest in America list with a net worth of over $140 billion. Jeff Bezos has literally dozens of ideas that span a broad range of investments, all the way from real estate to the retrieval of rocket ship engines from the ocean floor. With that in mind, here's how he became a renowned billionaire in such a short span of time. Number 1. Focusing on Customers Jeff Bezos understood early on that the advantage of an online business was in measuring customer behavior. Over the years, Amazon constantly adds features that are aimed at making their customers happy, which in turn boosts the company's sales. Look at Amazon.com book reviews as an example. Despite receiving a scolding from publishers, Amazon encouraged customers to post their thoughts even if those thoughts were critical or negative. Customers loved sharing their insights and reading others too. And now, reviewers are one of the best trusted aspects of the modern e-commerce platform. 2. Real Estate Bezos has substantial holdings in more traditional investments such as real estate. His 165,000 acre corn ranch in Texas was acquired as this base of operations for the aerospace company Blue Origin, and serves as the test site for the vertical landing man's suborbital New Shepard rocket. His personal real estate includes holdings on both the east and west coasts. Bezos has two multi-million dollar homes in Beverly Hills and a 10,000 square foot apartment in the Century Tower in Manhattan that cost him just under $10 million. Bezos's New York presence is reported to have boosted Century Tower property values even higher, with space selling for $2,000 to $3,000 per square foot. He also has a lakeside property in Washington State on which he spent $28 million to increase the living space to almost 30,000 square feet. In 2012, Amazon bought its own South Lake Union headquarters building in Seattle for $1.5 billion instantly making the company one of the city's largest commercial property owners. Amazon took possession of nearly a dozen buildings, almost 2 million square feet of office space, and approximately 100,000 square feet of retail space. Also in 2012, the company spent about $200 million to purchase a three-block area in downtown Seattle that is being developed as office tower space. In 2014, Amazon spent another $50 million to pick up one more square block. In August of 2017, the Seattle Times reported that Amazon had just as much office space as Seattle's next 40 and largest employers combined. Number 3. Media, High Tech, Glass, and Travel Bezos has an affinity for the technology sector, for media and communication services that facilitate connecting people, and also for just what he considers to be potentially profitable investments. In the media and communication sector, Bezos has invested in Twitter Incorporated and has committed nearly $50 million in venture capital to the popular business news website Business Insider. He acquired the Washington Post in 2013 for $250 million, Teach Street Inc., ZocDoc Inc. and Nextdoor are all platforms for connecting people in which Bezos has invested. Bezos Expeditions has also invested in Unity Biotechnology Inc., a healthcare startup targeting diseases related to aging. In the travel sector, Bezos has invested $112 million and $35 million respectively in Series B financing of Airbnb and transportation service Uber. Bezos is a big believer in the cloud, as evidenced by Amazon's major push into providing cloud computing services. However, his investment interests do not end with his own company. One of his notable investment successes is Workday Inc., a company that provides human resource services in the cloud. Shortly after Bezos's venture capital investment in the company, it went public at an initial public offering that garnered $684 million. In the sphere of a more traditional retail business, Bezos has invested in Glassy Baby, a company that makes glass-blown holders for votive candles. Number 4. Practicing Frugality Though not geographically far from the swank, luxuriously stocked offices of Silicon Valley, Amazon got its start in a simple, functional space in Washington State and operated on a market with minimal margins. Frugality is in Amazon's very DNA and seems to help the company focus on the more important things, its customers and continuous innovation. What does frugality mean for Amazon? For starters, employees pay for their own parking tickets, snacks at the office aren't free, and when traveling, employees bunk in double rooms. In general, Amazon isn't a place where staff spend relaxed days brainstorming over coffee. The norm is to work long, hard, and smart with no compromises on any of the three. Number 5. The Way Out There Ideas Two of Bezos' investments that engender a lot of discussion and that are considered a bit off the wall are the 10,000-year clock and the F1 engine retrieval project. The 10,000-year clock project is an effort to build a clock into the side of the Sierra Diablo mountain range in Texas, a clock that literally keeps on ticking for 10,000 years. The clock is planned to have a chime generator that generates a different chime sound for each day, just coming up with 10,000 times 
course 365 different chime sounds sounds like a pretty daunting challenge. Bezos explained that the need for the clock was by saying today's global problems require long-term thinking. The F-1 engine retrieval project is an effort to salvage the engines that powered the Apollo 11 flight to the moon from the ocean floor. Bezos assumes NASA would likely donate the engines to the Smithsonian. With his booming wealth, Bezos is now able to fulfill his childhood dream of becoming a space entrepreneur. Each year, he commits $1 billion to his space exploration company, Blue Origin, which in 2016 became one of the first commercial companies to launch a reusable rocket. On July 18, 2018, Blue Origin sent spacecraft New Shepard high into altitude to test its safety systems, which worked. Number 6. Beating Expectations During Amazon's first year, Bezos tried to raise money by predicting $74 million in sales by 2000, far underestimating the reality $1.64 billion. He managed to gather $1 million in seed funding from an angel investors after using up investment from his family, primarily from his parents, who'd shipped into a significant portion of their life savings. According to the CEO, the first 20 or so outside investors in Amazon put in about $50,000 each for a stake of less than 1%. Each investment would now be worth around $6 billion, representing a 120,000 times return given the investors held onto their entire stakes and had never been dilated by later investments. In June 1996, Amazon raised another $8 million in series from a venture capital firm, Kleiner Perkins. Amazon went public in May 1997 and turned out to be one of the few startups that survived the dot-com bust. As the platform diversified its product offerings and solidified itself as a market leader and pioneer, annual sales skyrocketed from 510,000 in 1995 to over 17 billion in 2001. In 2013, Bezos revealed his first plans for the company's revolutionary Amazon Prime subscription business, with Amazon Prime Air, which would use drones to deliver to customers. In 1998, Bezos also became an early investor in Google. While he has not revealed what he kept up the stock after his initial public offering in 2004, his $250,000 investment would be well worth over $6 billion today. In August 2013, the business mogul bought the Washington Post for $250 million. Since then, his audience and traffic has exploded, surpassing the New York Times in terms of US unique web viewers in October 2015. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are currently on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.